Christian schools, churches and charities will not be able to operate according to the Christian ethos on issues of marriage and the scientific truth about gender. But maybe all this pressure on Christians is a good thing. Our vision for human flourishing through marriage and family will never change, no matter what foolish politicians mandate at the behest of radical activists. This is an opportunity for light to shine because the Judeo-Christian vision is better. Politicians might be trying to snuff it out, but they won't succeed. As history shows, there will always be dissidents who will uphold the truth. Today is a day for dissidents. Some of us might have to pay a price to keep freedom alive, but it is a price worth paying. The time is fast arriving when peaceful civil disobedience may be necessary. If we care about the truth of marriage, faith, family, life and freedom, we will start pre preparing ourselves now. That's why the Family First political party is being revived. We simply must have a political vehicle to carry the truth and to carry our better vision for human flourishing into our parliaments and into the public discourse. I hope you will join us in that quest.